23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. Nearly four hours after pro-Trump supporters stormed their way into the U.S. Capitol, officials have declared the scene secure. The news comes as a woman was also confirmed dead after being shot in the U.S. Capitol. Officials have not said if she was shot by police or protesters. 13 people have been arrested and five weapons were recovered. The Metro Police in the area have declared the situation a riot and imposed a 6 p.m. curfew. This is still a developing situation. You can follow along with the latest updates on our website, turn to 23.com. Turning now to coronavirus coverage, public health announced a small spike in cases today. Take a look at these numbers. There were 1,014 new cases. These numbers bringing us to almost 74,000 total cases in the county since the pandemic began. Public health also reported three new coronavirus related deaths. This marks 521 for the county since the pandemic began. More than 21,000 people have recovered from the virus. While the focus has shifted to vaccinations, more COVID testing sites are now being set up. The Latino COVID-19 Task Force has a handful of testing sites set up this week. There was a site today in Mojave that ran until 3 p.m. Free face masks were handed out for those who attended. There are more sites set up for this week. You can find a full list of those by heading to our website, turn to 23com and taking a look at our weather for today, we are seeing that air quality about 74, which is our moderate range for right now. Now we are going to be seeing those temperatures dipping down just a little bit later tonight. We're expecting about 39 degrees here in Bakersfield for tonight, 35 in Delano, as well as 38 in Pine Mountain Club. Now for the rest of our community, we're going to be seeing those temperatures going up later tomorrow. We are expecting those temperatures in those mid to high 50s later tomorrow in our valley areas. And then in our, our mountain communities, we are expecting those temperatures in those 50s and those 60s. Now for our desert communities, we are expecting temperatures in those low 60s for the most part later tomorrow. Now for the next couple of days, we are going to be seeing those temperatures in those 60s and 50s. We are expecting some of that fog to continue throughout the rest of the week, but it's going to be clearing up by Monday. We're going to be seeing some of that sunshine as well on Monday through Wednesday. Now for our mountain communities, we are going to be expecting those temperatures in those 60s for the most part. Kern River Valley, we're expecting mid 60s throughout uh, Friday and then going down to those lower 60s by Saturday and Sunday. For Tehachapi and Fraser Park, they're going to be in those mid to high 50s for the rest of the week, but they are expecting that sunshine to come out by Monday day through Wednesday for our mountain communities. That's your latest news and weather update for the latest news anytime. Be sure to log on to our website turn to 23.com.